My name is Adeo Mulu Atosin. I'm 33 years old. I'm a mother of one. A graduate of industrial relations and personal management. And I survived postnatal depression. It just creeps in. You just realize you have several mood swings. You, you feel dejected sometimes. I usually forget things. I I felt worthless sometimes. I was always crying. I knew I cried a lot when I just put to bed. In fact, at some point I I had to get the glasses. And my eyes were already they were already working well again. It was a terrible experience and I just thank God I survived it. So before I got pregnant, I was in search of a job. So when I just put to bed, there was an opportunity and I went for an interview. Then I was asked several questions. At that point, the questions that I was asked, you know, my regular self, I'm an articulate person. I had everything I wanted to say in my mind, but I couldn't just spill it out. The feeling wasn't right, so I, I was scared, started shaking. I think the lady realized that I was shaking. She just dismissed. I cried all the way home. I was like, no, no, this is not normal. So I started, I talked to someone about it. The person now said, you might be depressed though. You can just be depressed for all you care. I said depressed. I said, yeah, you might be depressed. Then I started reading, I read about it. I read about it. Then I, I realized that most of the symptoms I was getting from what I read, I was, it was happening to me, you know, I was always sick. I felt sick every time, like I was always having these body pains, severe headaches and the likes. I was always exhausted. There were several things and I started, okay, this is what is happening, this is the way to go. Because at the end, it's my life actually. It was one of the things that made me identify it fast was that when I would be in the kitchen, then my neighbor, because her kitchen window is just by ours, so she'd just be like, Auntie, Auntie, tell me, are you talking to me? I'm just like, talking to you. I'm not talking to you. That was when I would, and I, so I was actually talking loud. I thought I was just talking to myself. I'll just go, I'll just leave the kitchen and go to the sitting room. And I'll start, what was happening? I just put to bed. It's not all that, it's not an easy journey. Especially when you don't have anybody around you. I didn't have anyone around me. I put to bed almost um, Christmas. So people that were around me just came, they were like, before, immediately Christmas crept in. Everybody just went on there. They wanted to celebrate Christmas. I think it was one of the things that made it get to me fast. So I was all the cleaning, the taking care of the home, the taking care of the baby, the taking care of myself. It was all upon me, myself. I just had to do it. Now, this is where um, this self-care and self-love now comes in. Now, at the end of the day is my life. I realized this is not who you are. You have to start making efforts to go back to where things were. So when I talk to people, the counseling, it goes a very long way, a very long way. Any slight counsel on depression goes a long way. So overcoming it, you have to identify it, how you work on it and talking to people. Postpartum depression is real. And when you want to talk about it, the people you meet, the people you talk about it with, they, have, they actually have a very big impact. Because some people, when you talk about it to some people, when I'm, I'm feeling this way, I'm feeling that way. Ah, it's normal. Ah, are you sure you are strong enough? Ah, ah you are not supposed to put to bed. Several things that some women, and some of these people are even women. Ah, no, ah, no, no, you are not supposed to be feeling this way. Ah, no, 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 no. People will just come up with different ideas. Ah, when I just put to bed, ah, like, you are supposed to be a robot or something. No, these things are emotions. And then, because you just put to bed, your hormones are heightened. 
then the hormones, there's a way it affects your emotions and everything just at that moment we're all trying to find figure it out that okay, this is what is happening, this is what is happening. So now what our advice new moms, whatever you are feeling, you are not alone. It's normal. Just find the right people to talk to and be quick to identify it. I think that is where the most important thing is. Be quick to identify that this is not who you are. It's like something is wrong. You need you need medical medical attention. You need counseling. You need help. Whoever offers to help. Okay, I, I want to come and say hi to you. Maybe I can allow the person. Ordinary sweeping goes a long way. Talk to someone about it. I can't do this alone. Don't feel you have failed because you can't do it. No, you haven't. You actually need a, a lot of help when you just put to bed. And that is the way it is.